inside. Hello, my name is JJ. I'm one of the designers of Line of Defense Tactics, and in this video I'm going to show you some of the more advanced features of the game. In this mission, we now have access to our full squad. Over on the right-hand side of the screen, you can see portraits of each squad member. Standing by. by selecting one of these portraits, I'm able to select that squad member and show their command menu. In that command menu, we have a few options. We can swap their weapon between their primary and secondary weapon. We can check out their stats, order them to defend a position, or order them to go to cover. Let's go ahead and select their stats. So we have Crater here, and you can see his stats listed on the left. His hit points, uh, his melee skill, his awareness, which is the distance that he can see, and his range skill, which is how good he is at hitting targets with ranged weapons. Below that, we have his primary and his secondary weapon listed. You can see his primary weapon is selected. It's highlighted in green. Below that, we have his two item slots. We have two flash grenades, and then the second slot is currently locked, which can be unlocked in the character edit menu between missions. So let's take a look at the rest of the squad. Here we've got Mash, who is our medic and pilot, Roach, who is our sniper and scout, and Thumper, who is our assault marine, and he's equipped with a machine gun. Now using the portrait menu on the right side, we can also select multiple units to move them to a specific position or attack with them. So let's go ahead and select Crater and Thumper with their portraits here. So now you can see uh, they both have flashing uh, names. That means they're selected. And then we can just tap on a position, select move, and that's just going to move the two of them. Cover markers can also be yellow or green. Yellow cover markers mean that they're protected from one direction. Green cover markers mean that they're protected from all directions. So let's go ahead and move up our squad into the cover here. And then we want to wait for a good moment to attack this patrol. And to do that, we can just drag out the command line from one of our units onto an enemy and just let go, and then he's going to attack. As soon as the enemy returns fire, the rest of our squad will attack them as well. So that's one of them down. Now the other way to attack is, again, we can just tap on the enemy and select attack all, and that'll order our entire squad to attack. So now that both of them have been taken out, let's take a look at over this on this salvage crate here on the left and attack that. See if there's anything inside. And let's get back into cover and take out that threat enemy. So now that all enemies have been taken down, we can pick up uh, the salvage that they've left. So we've got some grenade refills for any of our units that have grenades. We've also been able to pick up a biohuman, which allows us to revive an incapacitated unit. Also, if any of our units are wounded, we can heal them with anyone who has a medical kit. In this case, MASH is equipped with a medical kit. And we can see here, Crater's taken a little bit of damage. So let's go ahead and heal him. To do that, just select MASH, and then select Crater, and then press the medical kit button. That's going to order Mash to go ahead and move to Crater and heal him. So now he's been healed up. Let's get her out of there. Now, any unit that has a medical kit can also heal themselves. To do that, just select their portrait menu here. And then now that shows their command menu, and we see an additional option here, medical kit. So if you select that, that'll order them to heal themselves. So now we've got ourselves caught here in a bad position where one of our units is being attacked by three enemies, uh, which is not going to end well. So you can see Mash here has been incapacitated. To revive her, we can use a biohuman implant. Over on the, along the top of the screen, we see uh, an icon with a uh, counter next to it that says one. That means we have one biohuman available for our squad right now. So all we need to do is select an incapacitated unit. So let's just tap on Mash, and then select the revive option. And that's going to bring her back to life. Now this way I've been able to set up a bit of an ambush here, and so we can attack the insurgents uh, from behind with our revived unit. Engaging. 
To move your entire squad up, you can also just select any position and select move all from the menu. Go ahead and move up to the next area here. So now we've spotted two enemies. They look like they're in the middle of working, so they haven't spotted us yet. So let's go ahead and sneak up to them. To do that, we can drag out a command line from Roach and select Stealth Move when the command menu shows up. Now that he's in position, let's go ahead and throw a gradient in between. We can do that either by dragging out the command line and holding on a position to show the command menu, or we can tap on Roach and then tap on your target and select your grenade. Fire in the hole. So the grenade was able to take out one of those enemies, so now let's take the other one down with an attack follower. Reloading. Now during a mission, if you need to check what your objectives are, you can always just hit the pause menu through the pause button along the top right of the screen and then select objectives, and that's going to show you your list of objectives. If you need to get some help information, you can do the same thing, select the pause menu, and then select help. Between missions, you are able to upgrade your squad and get them new equipment. So let's go ahead and take a look at that right now. This is the character selection screen. Here we can cycle through our different characters in our squad, then hit the edit button. That brings up their edit menu. So this shows you their stats, and shows you what weapons and equipment they currently have equipped. Along the top left of the screen, we have CEP, and that is how much CEP we have to spend our combat experience points. So let's go ahead and hit CTC, which is our combat training certificates. And this is the different types of weapons and equipment that this squad member can use. To allow them to use new kinds of weapons or equipment or vehicles, you have to unlock one of the CTCs. CTCs are unit specific, so each one has to have his own CTCs that are unlocked. So right now, if we want Crater to have the ability to use machine guns, we'll just hit the machine gun CTC, pay for that, and unlock it. Now let's take a look at the weapons. Currently, he's got a combat rifle equipped here. Now that we have unlocked his machine gun CTC, let's go ahead and equip him with a machine gun. So now you can see there's a machine gun available that's already unlocked. You can just tap on that to select it. Weapons and items work differently from CTCs. If you unlock a weapon or item, that becomes available to your entire squad. So you don't need to purchase multiple copies of the same weapon. Now let's take a look at the secondary weapons. So this is a much bigger list. And if we try to select a weapon which is unlocked, but this unit does not have the CTC to use it, we'll get a message that we can't use that weapon. Now let's take a look at our items. So this shows you the different items that you can equip in each item slot. So let's go ahead and select a different type of grenade from here. We'll use an APG grenade, which is an explosive grenade. And then if we want to equip a second item, we have to unlock the secondary item slot. So just select the secondary item slot, say yes to unlock it, and now we can equip a second item on this unit. So now let's go ahead and get his flash grenade back. So now we have both an explosive grenade and a flash grenade. If you select the About button, you'll be able to get more information about this squad member and some tips about how to use him. Now if we head back, we can go back to our character selection screen and cycle through some of the different characters available. So that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching and enjoy the game!